is almost over from the classroom to virtual learning back to the classroom. It has been a rough year for kids, but college entrance exams are right around the corner. Tonight News Force Caroline Hecker explains new rules for these tests as the pandemic continues to lurk. That tone signals the changing of classes at Oakville High School, a sound students never thought they'd miss. That's how we function. We need to be in the classroom to be engaged and actually understanding. I would throw the Harry Potter series out there. That was so good. AP students feature a unique challenge. After months of virtual learning last fall put teachers behind on coursework. Um, a lot of my teachers have been frank and said that we will not be covering all the course material that will be on the test and I will have to independently study it in order to prepare. All year long they kind of kept us updated on where we would normally be versus where we were. So we were we still are behind in several units. Students returned to the building in January a few days a week to a world of confusion. That when we'd come into school, the 40 minutes that we were spending with our teachers, half of that was them trying to help us explain what was going on because we would be at home and we'd be like, I don't know what I'm doing with this. This year, the college board is offering students the option to take the test at school or digitally at home. In an effort to combat cheating, the college board says the digital test will not allow students to go back and forth between questions and it will be reviewed with plagiarism software. Further, it says there will not be questions on the test that can be easily answered with the help of a study guide or a quick internet search. At Oakville High School, traditional paper and pencil is most popular. Of the 200 or so kids I've got testing, I've only got four that have requested a digital exam. Students juggling multiple AP classes are left cramming in the final weeks leading up to the exam, and teachers feel their pain. I was behind where I really wanted to be, so then I feel like I'm very much rushing here in the last month before the AT, AP test so that they can get in all the content and all the information they need. The first wave of exams will take place the first week of May. In South County, Caroline Hecker, News 4. Oakville High School says it's seen around 50 students decide not to take the AP exam this year so far, and counselors say that is four times higher than a typical year. There are about 